Thank you for joining us for the June 2022 VIP workshop, How to Optimize Landing Pages for Maximum Growth. Uh, I am Lee Reams, the second founder and CEO of County Works, and I've been obviously uh, running these VIP workshops for many months. And today I am happy to introduce Rebecca Barton. She is our new hire. She's our chief visibility officer. She comes to us with a ton of both local SEO expertise and um, experience writing national type uh, blog articles and content for Disney focused blogs. So Rebecca, go ahead and introduce yourself. If you could. Hi everyone. Yeah, I'm Rebecca. I'm the new chief visibility officer for Counting Works Inc. So it's basically my job to help you get as many eyes on your website as we possibly can. And like Lee mentioned, I have years of agency experience working with local SEO for clients in a variety of industries. And I've spent the past about three years working for a Disney focused blog, um, writing content about Star Wars, Marvel, Disney parks that has gotten national attention um, all over the internet. So I'm excited to be here. Yeah. So if you are a Disney geek, you have someone to, uh, you have a lot to talk about for sure. <laughs> uh, what's great too is uh, Rebecca has been responsible for articles and content that's generated literally millions of visitors and eyeballs. So uh, we're really excited to see how she can assist our VIP clients in the future. So today's agenda we're going to go through an introduction. Um, I'm going to describe what a landing page is. We're going to, then going to discuss the different types of landing pages uh, and then get into uh, Rebecca's area, how to optimize your landing pages for maximum growth, how landing pages help your website. And then I will have a conclusion about this webinar. We will approximately 30 minutes long. This might be a little shorter or so. Uh, there's no CPE credit. Uh, this workshop is designed for US-based small tax and accounting practices, however, any other business or practice may benefit. So an in introduction, um, we uh, are really excited about the landing page products and what we've done in the 3.0 platform. Many of you who are on our, what we call now our 2.0 platform, we have moved over to the 3.0 landing pages. So we have literally built hundreds of landing pages in our new system our new platform. So we're very excited to get more and more of our clients going in that direction. So we're going to discuss why we went this direction with our development and how this can assist you in growing your practice. So let's get started. So in an industry like uh, tax and accounting, it is crucial to find your niche or specialty. So basically what we're saying here is you need to stand out, right? We don't like, it's more difficult to market a generalist firm versus someone who has a specific targeted audience. So finding your niche especially allows you to sell yourself as a specialist rather than a generalist. We have found that this will enable you to generate uh, higher uh, prices. Basically, you're going to be more in demand. You're going to be, there's going to be more perceived value and trust that you know what you're talking about. And more importantly, I think when you actually are focusing, your job is a lot easier. You know, you have many clients that are very similar. You know the questions to ask before your clients do. You're not spending time you know, researching every new client to understand how their, their vertical works, what KPIs are important. So uh, we're real, you know, bullish, obviously, on establishing your specialty or niche. So as we said here on the slide, it makes your job easier, but in return, makes you better at your job. More importantly for us, coming from CountyWorks uh, Pro's point of view, it makes it easier to find SEO success. So it's easier for us to get you more traffic and more high quality clients and prospects. So in our December VIP workshop, if you missed that, I definitely would like you to go back. We have it on our YouTube channel. If you go to the County Works Pro or just Google County Works Pro, go to our YouTube channel, you'll find the recorded VIP workshop there. But we went over how to choose your niche or specialty, how you can position your firm to stand out from your competitors. So in this month's workshop, we're going to get a little more detail um, and go specific to the landing pages. So we're going to cover how you can optimize landing pages for maximum growth once you've chosen your niche or specialty. So let's get started. So what exactly is a landing page? A lot of times you'll hear it as a sales funnel. You know, your cousins or, you know, people that you read in the internet, that's, those are some of the terms that are thrown around. But basically a landing page is a standalone web page separate from your website with one specific objective to convert visitors into leads. So the intent is always the same. Landing pages help get more potential clients on board and make them feel like they need what you have to offer. Now, a couple of things about landing pages as we get into a little more detail, there are different levels of the, the customer uh, 
experience as far as are they an intent buyer versus are they discovering content? Do they have a problem? So you're going to use your landing pages in different ways to talk to different audiences. So what's the beauty of the CountyWorks Pro platform is we have set it up that you can create multiple landing pages. You can test different copy. You can test different content. You can go after different ver verticals or niches and manage them all through our 3.0 platform, right? So the idea here is we want to drive and convert more leads for you. So just a couple of real quick examples here. Here's an expat tax focus. This is just the top above the fold part. And then here's an IRS tax problem. So when we say niche, this is a way that you can take um, you know, a generalist website, a homepage, for example, does not go into such detail specifically about a service or perhaps um, you know, a, a certain package that you're offering that you can communicate in a landing page. So let's get into the types of landing pages. Uh, so we go over a few options here. Video landing pages is, is just like that. You can record a webinar, um, actually a podcast, someone can listen to it as well. And this is a way that you could actually have a, a lead capture form in front of it and then send them or redirect them to your video webinar. So it's kind of like a little bit of a gatekeeper. It doesn't necessarily need to be a paid service, but there, there's one way to use a landing page. You can also make this public. So you can make it so people can watch your video or your webinar, whatever your workshop is. You can promote this on social media, PPC. But the idea is to get it either collect their information before they see your content or enable them to watch the content and then have a strong call to action post. So that is one example of a landing page. The other one is called a long form landing page. And what this is, is more of taking a specific niche. And for this example, we have construction accounting expert and tell a much longer story. So this is not going to be as short and concise as other landing pages, not as focused, but this is where you're going to integrate social proof, your reviews, you know, case studies. You're going to talk in depth about uh, the vertical or niche that you're specializing in. And you're basically going to tell a story and it's going to be a one page story. So you're just going to want the clients, you're going to get their attention at the top. You want their reader to continue to scroll down. And as you, you know, showcase your narrative, have one or two nice, strong calls to action throughout. Uh, but basically with a long form landing page, there's a better chance that the visitor will convert when you're talking about a specific uh, topic, right? So they know this is about me, this is speaking to me, what are the advantages, what are the pain points, how are you going to answer, how are you going to make my life better, that is what a long form landing page is for. Uh, the other option is what I'll call a product detail, so this for example is a professional that works with tax consulting for home based businesses, this landing page is just, just about that service, okay, so it's going to go into more detail about that service, usually we have the pricing, so if you're using um, package pricing, you could have here, you know, below this block, we call these blocks or components when we're building the sites, but you could have three levels of pricing, you know, uh, low, medium, premium, and you could walk the visitor through exactly, A, I focus on you, you're speaking to people who have home-based businesses, you're very transparent, so they know what they're going to get, what it's going to cost them. If you throw in some social proof, some reviews, it's going to be much more likely that they will then take some sort of action to contact you. The next one we call a squeeze landing page. This is a more traditional kind of old school and it's still 100% works. So the idea is that you're gonna give something of value in order for your prospect to give you some general information, basic contact information. The fewer fields that you use, more likely the higher your conversion rates. Um, and just for example, a good kind of solid uh, landing page conversion rate is around 10%. If you're getting 15%, you're doing very well. We have designed landing pages that have gotten 30, 40. Uh, the, one, the best I've ever seen is a 52, 53% um, conversion rate. That is really solid. So if you're putting some really good content behind this, so think about it, you're, you're, I'm gonna give you more value than the risk you're giving me You know your name and email. And hopefully if you design the page correctly, they're gonna trust you're gonna use their contact information purely to follow up on what they're sending. So a squeeze landing page is a classic landing or lead capture website. It aims to get information from visitors by using quote unquote high pressure sales tactics. It aims to take advantage of their vulnerability in order for them to not only sign up, but also provide data such as an email address. So here, and then we're, we're kind of, being dramatic here with the copy we wrote, but basically, hey, I, I have received an IRS CPE to want a notice, whatever it is. So we wrote a guide 
And we have this available for our VIP clients. It's a nice white paper. We brand it with your contact information and logo. And basically it's how to handle an IRS CP 2000 notice. Someone at this point may be highly emotional. They're Googling, they found your landing page. They're most likely gonna provide some information. And then from here, you will give them instant access to the white paper and then start utilizing our nurture campaign. So we have nurture campaigns that will enable you to follow up via email uh, in a series of emails and perhaps a, a text message. You'll also get instant notification that this lead came through so you could contact them through text or uh, you know phone. So squeeze landing pages work great if you are looking to showcase an area to start a free trial. So perhaps you have um, a 30 day free trial on some bookkeeping package, right? Or you have this downloadable content such as an ebook, white paper, infographic, um, a podcast episode, for example, maybe a price sheet, something you want to hide. So this is what we call gated content. So someone needs to, it, whether that be a purchase or provide some contact information in order to get through the gate, they need to provide that, right? So uh, gated content is one of the only ways to get lead information. So it, as it gives the viewer an incentive, not only to subscribe, but also share their email address, right? So I think you're getting the basics of what we're doing. Just another example of our white paper. So we do have a, a library of white papers that we've already created. Obviously, that would cost a lot of money to write, create, very professionally done. So you can use our library or create your own offering. It depends if you're really focused on things that we don't do. Put together your own white paper. That sounds great. So these types of pages help attract people who are searching for a solution. And here's our example, how to handle a CP2000 notice, right? So they lure leads in with a deliverable, in this case, a free guide, white paper, a webinar. So I think you're getting the gist. We're kind of repeating ourselves, but we want to make sure you understand what we're talking about. All right. So how do you work with us at Counting Works Pro and our VIP team? So we do offer a few types of squeeze landing pages. So we have some for niche pages. So providing services to a niche allows you to distinguish your firm from others. Um, and we also have um, a bunch of different scenarios and different calls to action types. So book a discovery call, learn more, get started. Obviously, we have the white papers that you can use. Um, we have a complete library of pre-designed, I would say, like for crypto. If you wanted to go after crypto, we have a, a landing page that already is set up for crypto. And then we specialize, or not specialize it, but we personalize it to you um, and make it your own. So that is that it makes it very easy instead of spending you know, thousands of dollars with ad agencies writing copy, we kind of create all of it, get you halfway there, and then we just personalize it from there. So just real quick, some examples. Here's a client, Foreman Earhart. They're, they're working with dental practices. You have another one working with real estate. These have been very effective for our clients. So which gets into my favorite part, and hopefully Rebecca hasn't fallen asleep through my intro, but how to optimize your landing pages for maximum growth. So Again, Rebecca's going to come in here and kind of give you some insight and um, guidance on how we can help you guys get your landing pages to rank and bring in business. Absolutely. So on this page, we're just going to talk about how to optimize a landing page. Um, when done right, landing pages can rank higher on SERPs, which is search engine result pages, than standard websites. So this is really helping to ensure that you reach your target audience. A lot of times when you create a website, you might be saying that you're targeting small business owners with revenue over $500,000 between the ages of 35 and 50, which is a really large range of people. And it's not very specific to industry or to their field that they might be in. So one of the great things about landing pages is that you can use the same SEO techniques that you would use to target people in your local area um, to target even more specific industries and more specific potential clients who happen to live near you. So to optimize for local, a local landing page is any website that's designed to attract people who live in a specific market. So if you live in Boston, if you live in San Diego, if you live in Atlanta, we use terms that are location specific to help Google or Bing or any other search engine know that people in your area are looking for you. So one of the awesome things about using a landing page as opposed to your traditional website is that we can really implement hyper-local SEO terms, which will really appeal to the people you're trying to reach. So if, for example, you are trying to appeal to restaurant owners in your area, we can actually sprinkle the names of local restaurants that are very well known into your copy so that those people will be more likely to find you as they're just 
performing general searches, or they're looking for other restaurant owners who might be using firms like yours by typing things like um, what CPA firm does whatever successful restaurant use, you would pop up potentially if that name was also on your website. So it's a really great way to hone in on people who might not necessarily find you otherwise by using these really hyper-local terms like landmarks, like long-term businesses that have been in your city for you know 50 or 100 years. You can even use things like cross streets or very, very localized terms to help draw in people who wouldn't necessarily find your website searching more generally. Yeah, and so Rebecca, I think, just to pause before we go to the next slide. Um, so Google, and a couple of years ago, they went mobile first in the way they index sites. So there's a lot of geolocation um, data, obviously, when people have their mobile phones, uh, Google knows exactly where they are and they, they try to create a, a better user experience by um, showing businesses that are closer to them. So when you are in a bigger city, like Boston, for example, and you're trying to go, Boston CPA firm, is probably too broad because you and especially if your geolocation where your actual office is is not near the city center, you might have some issues standing out. So, can you share a little bit more and kind of and you had mentioned Bird and some other things that Google has done, but um, how Google looks at your landing page and the copy and creation. So, why is it now that we can kind of not game the system, but we can get a page index using hyper local terms? Yeah, so a lot of it goes back to what you said, Lee, about Google using geolocation more and more as people search. So basically, Google has changed their Google Maps algorithm so that now when you search, you're given three results that are nearest you that have the most high quality rankings. And a lot of those websites are going to be places that are using these hyper local terminologies. So they are really targeting their neighborhoods. So going back to the Boston example, if you're a CPA firm in Boston, but you're in perhaps the back Bay area, as opposed to city center, like Lee said, you're targeting a completely different faction of Boston residents, people who don't want to have to drive super far to get to their CPA's office if they want to do in-person work. And then as Google looks at those locations, it understands that people don't want to travel. So it's going to be looking for a person whose geolocation is in the back bay. It's going to be looking for CPA firms that are in that particular neighborhood. So if your website features a lot of copy about your precise neighborhood in Boston or any other city in the world, then Google's going to say, okay, this is a website that this person will want to see because this is located very near to where they live and they're more likely to convert because they live very close to where you are. So hyperlocal is a good way to help you get more conversions because it's targeting people who are extremely close to your location. Yeah, and I know we're big in pushing virtual and client collaboration virtual and being able to expand and target people, but we're giving you just the way Google works. So what we have seen, and, and if you are in a highly competitive area and you haven't reached out back to us, um, Rebecca is available to kind of do an, an audit of some of your content and feel free, you know, whenever just to, to schedule some time on our calendar and she can look at your business and kind of, you know, we have a... a a new questionnaire and things that we're asking clients to assist us in developing the, this content, but definitely feel free to reach out. Uh, so Rebecca, continue on. I'm sorry. Absolutely. And I think it is important just to go off of that point really quickly to recognize that there's no reason you can't offer virtual or remote services, but you're more likely to rank with local terms because Google looks at your office location. That's something that Google's probably always going to look at. So it is important to, to kind of hone in on those local terms. And then your website can also share that you provide virtual or remote services. I know sometimes it can be confusing. If you don't do a lot of work with clients in office, you primarily work remotely or virtually, like Lee was saying. Uh, but this is still a great tactic, no matter how you actually work with both of your or most of your clients. So creating a landing page with local strategy will help you answer local questions. And even if you do work remotely, a lot of your clients will probably be based in your region. So using local SEO is still a really good way to get eyes on your page. Um, so as we kind of said, optimizing for local will let you rank in your niche 
by easily appealing to your target audience. So our example here again is Boston um, with a real estate accountant in the Boston Bunker Hill Monument area, which is something that people might search if they are in that neighborhood and Bunker Hill is obviously a huge landmark. So as people are thinking of ways to find CPAs who are located near them, they're likely to type in well-known monuments, well-known cross streets, things like that. We kind of, in the SEO industry, we try to think like a user. So when I'm doing copy, I try to think, what will people be searching to find this business? And a lot of times people are searching colloquial things because they live in those regions and that's what, what is familiar to them. So we like to play into that with our content and make sure you have keywords that are going to help you rank in the real world. Yeah, and I think the other thing is that not only people don't necessarily write the Bunker Hill Monument area, but Google knows based on that mobile device's location, they're in the Bunker Hill Monument area and you have optimized your landing page with those, term, those terms. Basically, Google will reward you with better ranking. Exactly, exactly. And kind of as Lee just said, this is going to help your website by giving you more traffic to your domain. And it will also give you a better reputation with Google overall by Google understanding that you are creating high quality targeted content that appeals to the people you want to reach. One of the great things about landing pages specifically is that you can really hone in on those individual niches. Like I said earlier, you're not just targeting a general demographic of ages but you can target doctors who work in a specific area of your city, or you can target, you know, like I said, restaurant owners or retail or construction or any industry that you might possibly want to work with. You can create a landing page that uses things that those people are going to be interested in to help them find you. So it's a really good way to increase conversions as opposed to just having people stumble upon you who maybe aren't necessarily fully interested in paying you yet, who might just be doing a little more research. Oftentimes landing pages that are highly optimized are a great way to convert leads into paying clients because those people are ready to hire a CPA. Yeah, I'm gonna expand a little bit just so to get you guys thinking. So let's say you are a, an accounting firm that specializes in doctors, medical practices. With the way you would use uh, landing pages is, and to kind of, you can further target your landing page content. So you might have a landing page for doctors that are in cosmetic surgery and another landing page for doctors that do orthopedic surgery. So there's, now you've taken your broad category, which is already, you know, you've narrowed, you've kind of positioned down, you've niched down. But now what the, the, the strategy with landing pages is to even get that content even more specific to that actual searcher. And what you're going to find is that cosmetics, you know, doctor, even though, yes, they're all medical practices, they might all kind of run similar with billing and set up and, you know, the way they retirement plan or whatever. The, the issue is with Google um, and the user experience, if you have content images um, and you've optimized to even a further niche, when that person lands on your page, the, the conversion rates are going to be much higher. And that's why we've created this product. So, when I say have a landing page, this is a, a perfect usage of how to do it. So you can actually target doctors, medical practices, but have four or five different versions of it. And you could have different traffic and messages in each one. Exactly. Um, because really, when you think about it, like a pediatrician is not going to be looking for the same things, like you said, as perhaps a cosmetic doctor or something like that. So it is important. Um, niches, really, the importance can't be overstated as the internet gets more and more competitive landing pages are, I think, going to become more and more critical. So how does this help my website, which is probably the question you're all asking. And I think we've answered a little bit of that um, so far, but you can also run ads specifically to your landing page for further promotion, which is a great SEO tool. You can use the same terms and that will really help you target those people who are already looking for your ads or for your website. So that's a really good way to connect your PPC budget with your landing pages is to target 
specifically those pages as opposed to sending people to your general website. It's a good way to promote those pages. Um, running ads, like we say here, is a powerful tool to bring traffic to the landing page. Just like running ads can be a powerful tool to getting people to your main website. Advertising is obviously very essential. But it is important to remember that you're trying to appeal to the audience specifically for the landing page, which may not be the same as your overall demographic for your firm. So that's just something that we really can't overstate is the importance, like Lee said, of niching down and really recognizing these are the people I want to find me. And it's somewhat counterintuitive because you almost think that the narrower your audience, the fewer conversions you'll get. But the opposite is actually true. The more you niche down, the more conversions you're likely to see because you're targeting people who are extremely interested in the service that you're offering. Um, there are a lot of great ad tools, Google ads, Facebook ads, Instagram ads are all excellent platforms. Um, Facebook and Instagram are both owned by the same company. So very similar platform there as far as creating the ads. And if you need help with ads, there are websites like Upwork and Fiverr where you can find a freelancer to assist you with paid ad campaigns. Yeah, and we haven't gone, I mean, it's a little out of our, we're, our software automation side. So at this point, we're still um, referring that out. Um, and I want to add to uh, what Rebecca just said about the landing page, what is nice is it zeroes your visitors into your offer, not your practice. So a homepage is more generic. There's more information. You know, how do I find you? I want to read your blog. I want to read testimonials. The landing page is going to be specific, right? So they're very focused and they're free of other distractions. Um, and that's why, uh, you know, by speaking to your target audience, that's why you're going to convert more when you do the, the landing page way, which I'm going to take over. Conclusion. Um, so Rebecca, I think that was great. I hope people kind of understood how the strategies that we're working on now. Um, we do like to include social proof in your landing pages. Um, so we're going to be pushy with that. I know some professionals still don't like collecting reviews, asking for reviews, having testimonials. We have found that social proof is going to dramatically um, increase your conversion rates. Having fewer calls to action will also. So what we found is a lot of like quote unquote sales funnels get very busy and very um, confusing for clients. So um, we, we've basically taken out the creation of landing pages from being a very complex process and broken it down to what works, right? So once you've determined that type of landing page you're going to use, um, basically we can assist you in building them for you. So we, um, we basically want you to think about where you, know, where you want to target and from there, let, uh, let our experts obviously take back, take it over and you can sit back and, and watch as your landing page brings in leads. There's one thing here that's really important. Um, we do, one thing is collecting the leads. You can have an entire different webinar on what to do with those leads. So what our system does is we're going to notify you very quickly that a new prospect has engaged with one of your landing pages. Um, the notifications come via email, via text. So you will have that hot lead right there. We kind of believe in, you not forcing you to use like a specific platform to communicate from that point. So you can use your mobile device, you could text, you can phone, you could do whatever, you can do video meetings. Um, so we don't set you just in an ecosystem, meaning we don't make you make everyone use Facebook Messenger, for example. So we think the mobile devices texting is, is perfect for that. So um, definitely something to think about then is how do you nurture them afterwards? So if you sent them a white paper, what is a series of emails and maybe a text that you can send that follows up with them? So we have pre-built uh, campaigns that are in our lead section. We're putting a lot more of our capabilities into 3.0. So as we continue to roll out new features in 3.0, um, you might want to migrate yourself up. What we've been doing with our VIP clients that are in our is in our legacy platform is we're building your landing pages in our new platform, but we're actually putting the leads into the old legacy platform. So we're actually um, sending them in so you can still utilize your current website and um, your CRM the way you're used to it. At some point, we do have a migration plan for those that are interested um, in the coming months that so we'll start communicating that. Um, so if you need help, uh, there's lots of resources out there. Uh, we have obviously Rebecca as your VIP contact. We also have added Adrian as another resource who's helping her. So we, we have a very comprehensive team um, we are continuing to build out what I call um, very mobile-friendly, SEO-friendly pages 
we're doing most of the work for you. So then it's just a matter of minutes to getting you up with a branded landing page. So if you're ready, please contact us. Um, the process is pretty simple. We do have uh, the ability of full library. This is just a few of them. So you kind of have an idea. You want to tackle entertainers. You want to go after farmers, short-term rentals, uh, you know, architects, attorneys. This uh, We have, I think, like 40 or so in here that are already with images and copy, and then we can customize these to you so for you so this is this is the 3.0 interface and it's that simple create a site choose a theme add your branding um, and then if you're a vip member rebecca can kind of massage the copy make it more yours we ask you a couple of questions we do need you to participate the more you can provide us of your personality and background the better it is for the end product right so we want it to be personalized to you so in conclusion marketing can be very hard we 100% get it, but that is what we are here for. So if you have any questions about setting up a landing page, if you want to um, look at our 3.0 platform. And so one of the big advantages, the way we set up the new platform is you can have your website, you could have 10 landing pages. You could have a landing page then that has a specific email newsletter for it, specific social media posts to it. Um, and you could even blog to it specifically. So there's a lot of ways to use the landing page product. So feel free to give us a call at 800-442-2477, extension three. Or uh, I know Rebecca, we sent out a, a welcome email um, introducing her. So feel free to hit her calendar link. Uh, and you can set up a discovery call with her and she can kind of review where you are. So Rebecca, do you have any closing thoughts before I um, finish this up? Um, this was fun. Um, I hope everybody got some good information. I know this can be a lot. So like Lee said, please, if you have questions or you're confused about anything that was said today, because I know it is a lot to process. Um, it's kind of a different thing for a lot of people. Feel free to book a time with me. I am happy to take a look to answer any questions you may have. And I look forward to working with all of you. Yeah. And thank you for being a subscriber. We're excited about the new uh, tools that we have coming out. So just keep following us, keep sharing your uh, input. The surveys we sent out uh, last uh, little bit ago have been great and a lot of great insight from you. So we're, uh, we're listening to you and we're hoping to build out the platform as we go. Thank you very much.